Quantum teleportation is a process by which quantum information e.g. the exact state of an atom or photon can be transmitted exactly, in principle, from one location to another, with the help of classical communication and previously shared quantum entanglement between the sending and receiving location. Because it depends on classical communication, which can proceed no faster than the speed of light, it cannot be used for faster than light transport or communication of classical bits. While it has proven possible to teleport one or more qubits of information between two entangled atoms, this has not yet been achieved between anything larger than molecules. Although the name is inspired by the teleportation commonly used in fiction, quantum teleportation is limited to the transfer of information rather than matter itself. Quantum teleportation is not a form of transportation, but of communication. It provides a way of transporting a qubit from one location to another without having to move a physical particle along with it. The term was coined by physicist Charles Bennett. The seminal paper first expounding the idea of quantum teleportation was published by C. H. Bennett, G. Brassard, C. Crapo, R. Joza, A. Perez, and W. K. Wooters in 1993. Quantum teleportation was first realized in single photons, later being demonstrated in various material systems such as atoms, ions, electrons and superconducting circuits. The latest reported record distance for quantum teleportation is 1,400 kilometers (870 miles) by the group of Jian Wei Pan using the Mishis satellite for space-based quantum teleportation. Topic: Non-technical summary. In matters relating to quantum or classical information theory, it is convenient to work with the simplest possible unit of information, the two-state system. In classical information, this is a bit, commonly represented using one or zero or true or false. The quantum analog of a bit is a quantum bit, or qubit. Qubits encode a type of information, called quantum information, which differs sharply from classical information. For example, quantum information can be neither copied the no -cloning theorem nor destroyed the no -deleting theorem. Quantum teleportation provides a mechanism of moving a qubit from one location to another, without having to physically transport the underlying particle to which that qubit is normally attached. Much like the invention of the telegraph allowed classical bits to be transported at high speed across continents, quantum teleportation holds the promise that one day, qubits could be moved likewise. As of 2015, the quantum states of single photons, photon modes, single atoms, atomic ensembles, defect centers in solids, single electrons, and superconducting circuits have been employed as information bearers. The movement of qubits does not require the movement of things any more than communication over the Internet does. No quantum object needs to be transported, but it is necessary to communicate two classical bits per teleported qubit from the sender to the receiver. The actual teleportation protocol requires that an entangled quantum state or Bell state be created, and its two parts shared between two locations the source and destination, or Alice and Bob. In essence, a certain kind of quantum channel between two sites must be established first, before a qubit can be moved. Teleportation also requires a classical information channel to be established, as two classical bits must be transmitted to accompany each qubit. The reason for this is that the results of the measurements must be communicated, and this must be done over ordinary classical communication channels. The need for such classical channels may, at first, seem disappointing, however, this is not unlike ordinary communications, which requires wires, radios or lasers. What's more, Bell states are most easily shared using photons from lasers, and so teleportation could be done, in principle, through open space, i.e., without the need to send the light through cables or optical fibers. The quantum states of single atoms have been teleported. An atom consists of several parts, the qubits in the electronic state or electron shell surrounding the atomic nucleus, the qubits in the nucleus itself, and, finally, the electrons, protons and neutrons making up the atom. Physicists have teleported the qubits encoded in the electronic state of atoms, they have not teleported the nuclear state, nor the nucleus itself. It is therefore inaccurate to say, an atom has been teleported. The quantum state of an atom has. Thus, performing this kind of teleportation requires a stock of atoms at the receiving site, available for having qubits imprinted on them. The importance of teleporting nuclear state is unclear. Nuclear state does affect the atom, e.g. in hyperfine splitting, but whether such state would need to be teleported in some futuristic, practical, 
Application is debatable. An important aspect of quantum information theory is entanglement, which imposes statistical correlations between otherwise distinct physical systems. These correlations hold even when measurements are chosen and performed independently, out of causal contact from one another, as verified in Bell test experiments. Thus, an observation resulting from a measurement choice made at one point in spacetime seems to instantaneously affect outcomes in another region, even though light hasn't yet had time to travel the distance, a conclusion seemingly at odds with special relativity EPR paradox. However such correlations can never be used to transmit any information faster than the speed of light, a statement encapsulated in the no communication theorem. Thus, teleportation, as a whole, can never be superluminal, as a qubit cannot be reconstructed until the accompanying classical information arrives. Understanding quantum teleportation requires a good grounding in finite dimensional linear algebra, Hilbert spaces and projection matrices. A qubit is described using a two-dimensional complex number-valued vector space, a Hilbert space, which are the primary basis for the formal manipulations given below. A working knowledge of quantum mechanics is not absolutely required to understand the mathematics of quantum teleportation, although without such acquaintance, the deeper meaning of the equations may remain quite mysterious. Protocol The prerequisites for quantum teleportation are a qubit that is to be teleported, a conventional communication channel capable of transmitting two classical bits i.e., one of four states, and means of generating an entangled EPR pair of qubits, transporting each of these to two different locations, A and B, performing a Bell measurement on one of the EPR pair qubits, and manipulating the quantum state of the other pair. The protocol is then as follows. An EPR pair is generated, one qubit sent to location A, the other to B. At location A, a Bell measurement of the EPR pair qubit and the qubit to be teleported the quantum state phi display style phi wrangle is performed, yielding one of four measurement outcomes, which can be encoded in two classical bits of information. Both qubits at location A are then discarded. Using the classical channel, the two bits are sent from A to B this is the only potentially time-consuming step after step 1, due to speed of light considerations. As a result of the measurement performed at location A, the EPR pair qubit at location B is in one of four possible states. Of these four possible states, one is identical to the original quantum state phi display style phi wrangle and the other three are closely related. Which of these four possibilities actually obtained, is encoded in the two classical bits. Knowing this, the EPR pair qubit at location B is modified in one of three ways, or not at all, to result in a qubit identical to phi wrangle the qubit that was chosen for teleportation, it is worth to notice that the above protocol assumes that the qubits are individually addressable, that means the qubits are distinguishable and physically labeled. However, there can be situations where two identical qubits are indistinguishable due to the spatial overlap of their wave functions. Under this condition, the qubits cannot be individually controlled or measured. Nevertheless, a teleportation protocol analogous to that described above can still be conditionally implemented by exploiting two independently prepared qubits, with no need of an initial EPR pair. This can be made by addressing the internal degrees of freedom of the qubits e.g., spins or polarizations by spatially localized measurements performed in separated regions A and B shared by the wave functions of the two indistinguishable qubits. <laughs> <laughs> Experimental results and records Work in 1998 verified the initial predictions, and the distance of teleportation was increased in August 2004 to 600 meters, using optical fiber. Subsequently, the record distance for quantum teleportation has been gradually increased to 16 kilometers, then to 97 kilometers, and is now 143 kilometers 89 miles, set in open-air experiments done between two of the Canary Islands. There has been a recent record set as of September 2015 using superconducting nanowire detectors that reached the distance of 102 kilometers 63 miles over optical fiber. For material systems, the record distance is 21 meters, a variant of teleportation called 
open destination teleportation, with receivers located at multiple locations, was demonstrated in 2004 using five photon entanglement. Teleportation of a composite state of two single photons has also been realized. In April 2011, experimenters reported that they had demonstrated teleportation of wave packets of light up to a bandwidth of 10 MHz while preserving strongly nonclassical superposition states. In August 2013, the achievement of fully deterministic quantum teleportation, using a hybrid technique, was reported. On 29 May 2014, scientists announced a reliable way of transferring data by quantum teleportation. Quantum teleportation of data had been done before but with highly unreliable methods. On 26 February 2015, scientists at the University of Science and Technology of China in Hefei, led by Chao Yang Lu and Jian Wei Pan carried out the first experiment teleporting multiple degrees of freedom of a quantum particle. They managed to teleport the quantum information from ensemble of rubidium atoms to another ensemble of rubidium atoms over a distance of 150 meters using entangled photons. In September 2016, researchers at the University of Calgary demonstrated quantum teleportation over the Calgary Metropolitan Fiber Network over a distance of 6.2 kilometers. Researchers have also successfully used quantum teleportation to transmit information between clouds of gas atoms, notable because the clouds of gas are macroscopic atomic ensembles. In 2018, physicists at Yale demonstrated a deterministic teleported CNOT operation between logically encoded qubits. Formal presentation There are a variety of ways in which the teleportation protocol can be written mathematically. Some are very compact but abstract, and some are verbose but straightforward and concrete. The presentation below is of the latter form, verbose, but has the benefit of showing each quantum state simply and directly. Later sections review more compact notations. The teleportation protocol begins with a quantum state or qubit psi display style psi wrangle in Alice's possession that she wants to convey to Bob. This qubit can be written generally in bracket notation as psi c equals alpha zero c plus beta one c Display style psi wrangle underscore c equals alpha zero wrangle underscore c plus beta one wrangle underscore c. The subscript c above is used only to distinguish this state from a and b below. Next, the protocol requires that Alice and Bob share a maximally entangled state. This state is fixed in advance by mutual agreement between Alice and Bob, and can be any one of the four Bell states shown. It does not matter which one. Phi plus a b equals one two zero a zero b plus one a one b Display style phi caret plus wrangle underscore a b equals frac one sqrt two zero wrangle underscore a o times zero wrangle underscore b plus one wrangle underscore a o times one wrangle underscore b phi minus a b equals one two zero a zero B minus one a one B display style phi caret wrangle underscore a B equals frac one sqrt two zero wrangle underscore a o times zero wrangle underscore B one wrangle underscore a o times one wrangle underscore B psi plus a B equals one two zero a one B plus one a zero B 
Display style psi caret plus wrangle underscore a b equals frac one sqrt two zero wrangle underscore a o times one wrangle underscore b plus one wrangle underscore a o times zero wrangle underscore b psi minus a b equals one two zero o one B minus one a zero B Display style psi carrot wrangle underscore A B equals FRAC one SQRT two zero wrangle underscore a O times one wrangle underscore B one wrangle underscore a O times zero wrangle underscore B In the following assume that Alice and Bob share the state Phi plus a B display style Phi carrot plus wrangle underscore a B Alice obtains one of the particles in the pair with the other going to Bob this is implemented by preparing the particles together and shooting them to Alice and Bob from a common source the subscripts a and B in the entangled state refer to Alice's or Bob's particle at this point Alice has two particles C the one she wants to teleport and a one of the entangled pair and Bob has one particle B in the total system, the state of these three particles is given by psi c phi plus a b equals alpha zero c plus beta one c one two zero a zero B plus one O one B Display style psi wrangle underscore C O times Phi carrot plus wrangle underscore A B equals alpha zero wrangle underscore C plus beta one wrangle underscore C O times F R A C one S Q R T two zero wrangle underscore O O times zero wrangle underscore B plus one wrangle underscore O O times one wrangle underscore B Alice will then make a local measurement in the Bell basis i.e. the four Bell states on the two particles in her possession. To make the result of her measurement clear, it is best to write the state of Alice's two qubits as superpositions of the Bell basis. This is done by using the following general identities, which are easily verified. 0 0 equals 1 2 phi plus plus Phi minus display style zero wrangle o times zero wrangle equals frac one sqrt two phi caret plus wrangle plus phi caret wrangle zero one equals one two psi plus plus psi minus Display style zero wrangle o times one wrangle equals frac one sqrt two psi caret plus wrangle plus psi caret wrangle one zero equals one two psi plus minus psi minus Display style one wrangle o times zero wrangle equals frac one sqrt two psi caret plus wrangle psi caret wrangle and one one equals one two phi plus minus phi minus Display style one wrangle o times one wrangle equals frac one sqrt two phi caret plus wrangle phi caret wrangle. One applies these identities with a and c subscripts. The total three-particle state of a, b, and c together thus becomes the following four-term superposition: psi c phi plus a b equals one two phi plus a 
c alpha 0 b plus beta 1 b plus phi minus a c alpha 0 b minus beta 1 b plus psi plus a c beta 0 b plus alpha 1 b plus psi minus a c beta 0 B minus alpha one B display style begin aligned and psi wrangle underscore C O times phi carrot plus wrangle underscore A B equals F R A C one two big L brack and phi carrot plus wrangle underscore A C O times alpha zero wrangle underscore B plus beta one wrangle underscore B plus phi carrot wrangle underscore A C O times alpha zero wrangle underscore B beta one wrangle underscore B plus and psi carrot plus wrangle underscore a c o times beta zero wrangle underscore b plus alpha one wrangle underscore b plus psi carrot wrangle underscore a c o times beta zero wrangle underscore b alpha one wrangle underscore b big r brack end aligned the above is just a change of basis on Alice's part of the system. No operation has been performed and the three particles are still in the same total state. The actual teleportation occurs when Alice measures her two qubits a, c, in the Bell basis, phi plus a c, phi minus a c, psi plus a c, psi minus a c, display style, phi caret plus wrangle underscore a c, phi caret wrangle underscore a c, psi caret plus wrangle underscore a c, psi caret wrangle underscore a c. Experimentally, this measurement may be achieved via a series of laser pulses directed at the two particles. Given the above expression, evidently the result of Alice's local measurement is that the three-particle state would collapse to one of the following four states with equal probability of obtaining each. Phi plus A C alpha 0 B plus beta 1 B Display style phi caret plus wrangle underscore a c o times alpha zero wrangle underscore b plus beta one wrangle underscore b phi minus a c alpha zero b minus beta one b Display style phi caret wrangle underscore a c o times alpha zero wrangle underscore b beta one wrangle underscore b psi plus a c beta zero b plus alpha one b Display style psi caret plus wrangle underscore a c o times beta zero wrangle underscore b plus alpha one wrangle underscore b psi minus a c beta zero b minus alpha one b Display style psi caret wrangle underscore a c o times beta zero wrangle underscore b alpha one wrangle underscore b. Alice's two particles are now entangled to each other in one of the four Bell states, and the entanglement originally shared between Alice's and Bob's particles is now broken. Bob's particle takes on one of the four superposition states shown above. Note how Bob's qubit is now in a state that resembles the state to be teleported. The four possible states for Bob's qubit are unitary images of the state to be teleported. The result of Alice's Bell measurement tells her which of the above four states the system is in. She can now send her result to Bob through a classical channel. Two classical bits can communicate which of the four results she obtained. After Bob receives the message from Alice, he will know which of the four states his particle is in. 
Using this information, he performs a unitary operation on his particle to transform it to the desired state alpha, 0 b plus beta, 1 b display style alpha, 0 wrangle underscore b plus beta, 1 wrangle underscore b, if Alice indicates her result as, phi plus a c display style, phi caret plus wrangle underscore a c, Bob knows his qubit is already in the desired state and does nothing. This amounts to the trivial unitary operation, the identity operator. If the message indicates phi minus ac display style phi caret wrangle underscore ac, Bob would send his qubit through the unitary quantum gate given by the Pauli matrix sigma three equals one oh oh minus one display style sigma underscore three equals begin b matrix one and zero zero and minus one and b matrix to recover the state. If Alice's message corresponds to psi plus ac display style psi caret plus wrangle underscore ac, Bob applies the gate sigma one equals o one one o display style sigma underscore one equals begin b matrix zero and one one and zero end b matrix to his qubit. Finally, for the remaining case, the appropriate gate is given by sigma one sigma three equals minus sigma three sigma one equals minus i sigma two equals zero minus one one o. Display style sigma underscore one sigma underscore three equals sigma underscore three sigma underscore one equals i sigma underscore two equals begin b matrix zero and minus one one and zero end b matrix. Teleportation is thus achieved. The above mentioned three gates correspond to rotations of pi radians 180 degrees about appropriate axes x, y and z. Some remarks After this operation, Bob's qubit will take on the state psi b equals alpha 0 b plus beta 1 b Display style psi wrangle underscore b equals alpha zero wrangle underscore b plus beta one wrangle underscore b, and Alice's qubit becomes an undefined part of an entangled state. Teleportation does not result in the copying of qubits, and hence is consistent with the no cloning theorem. There is no transfer of matter or energy involved. Alice's particle has not been physically moved to Bob; only its state has been transferred. The term. Teleportation, coined by Bennett, Brassard, Crapo, Joza, Perez, and Wooters, reflects the indistinguishability of quantum mechanical particles. For every qubit teleported, Alice needs to send Bob two classical bits of information. These two classical bits do not carry complete information about the qubit being teleported. If an eavesdropper intercepts the two bits, she may know exactly what Bob needs to do in order to recover the desired state. However, this information is useless if she cannot interact with the entangled particle in Bob's possession. Quantum circuit for a single qubit quantum teleportation is demonstrated using QKit, a quantum circuit simulator with graphical interface. Alice's state in qubit 2 is transferred to Bob's qubit 0 using a priorly entangled pair of qubits between Alice and Bob, qubits 1 and 0. Topic Alternative notations There are a variety of different notations in use that describe the teleportation protocol. One common one is by using the notation of quantum gates. In the above derivation, the unitary transformation that is the change of basis from the standard product basis into the Bell basis can be written using quantum gates. Direct calculation shows that this gate is given by G equals H I C N display style G equals H O times I C underscore N, where H is the one qubit Walsh Hadamard gate and C N display style C underscore N is the controlled knot gate. Topic: Entanglement swapping. Teleportation can be applied not just to pure states, but also mixed states, that can be regarded as the state of a single subsystem of an entangled pair. The so-called entanglement swapping is a simple and illustrative example. If Alice has a particle which is entangled with a particle owned by Bob, and Bob teleports it to Carol, then afterwards, Alice's particle is entangled with Carol's. 
A more symmetric way to describe the situation is the following, Alice has one particle, Bob two, and Carol one. Alice's particle and Bob's first particle are entangled, and so are Bob's second and Carol's particle. Underscore 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 Alice, Bob one, Bob two, Carol. Underscore 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 now, if Bob does a projective measurement on his two particles in the Bell state basis and communicates the results to Carol, as per the teleportation scheme described above, the state of Bob's first particle can be teleported to Carol's. Although Alice and Carol never interacted with each other, their particles are now entangled. A detailed diagrammatic derivation of entanglement swapping has been given by Bob Koch, presented in terms of categorical quantum mechanics. Topic. Generalizations of the teleportation protocol The basic teleportation protocol for a qubit described above has been generalized in several directions, in particular regarding the dimension of the system teleported and the number of parties involved either as sender, controller, or receiver. D-dimensional systems A generalization to D display style D level systems, so-called cutits, is straightforward and was already discussed in the original paper by Bennett et al. The maximally entangled state of two qubits has to be replaced by a maximally entangled state of two cutits and the Bell measurement by a measurement defined by a maximally entangled orthonormal basis. All possible such generalizations were discussed by Werner in 2001. The generalization to infinite dimensional so called continuous variable systems was proposed in and lead to the first teleportation experiment that worked unconditionally. <laughs> <laughs> Multipartite versions The use of multipartite entangled states instead of a bipartite maximally entangled state allows for several new features, either the sender can teleport information to several receivers either sending the same state to all of them which allows to reduce the amount of entanglement needed for the process or teleporting multipartite states or sending a single state in such a way that the receiving parties need to cooperate to extract the information. A different way of viewing the latter setting is that some of the parties can control whether the others can teleport. Logic gate teleportation In general, mixed states ρ may be transported, and a linear transformation ω applied during teleportation, thus allowing data processing of quantum information. This is one of the foundational building blocks of quantum information processing. This is demonstrated below. General description A general teleportation scheme can be described as follows. Three quantum systems are involved. System 1 is the unknown state row to be teleported by Alice. Systems 2 and 3 are in a maximally entangled state omega that are distributed to Alice and Bob, respectively. The total system is then in the state rho omega display style rho o times omega a successful teleportation process is a LOCC quantum channel phi that satisfies TR 12 phi rho omega equals rho display style operator name TR underscore 12 circ phi rho o times omega equals rho where TR 12 is the partial trace operation with respect systems 1 and 2 and Display style circ denotes the composition of maps. This describes the channel in the Schrödinger picture. Taking adjoint maps in the Heisenberg picture, the success condition becomes phi rho omega i o equals rho o. Display style Langle Phi Rho O times Omega I O times O Wrangle equals Langle Rho O Wrangle for all observable O on Bob's system. The tensor factor in I O Display style I O times O is 
12 3 display style 12 o times 3 while that of rho omega display style rho o times omega is 1 23 display style 1 o times 23 topic further details The proposed channel phi can be described more explicitly. To begin teleportation, Alice performs a local measurement on the two subsystems 1 and 2 in her possession. Assume the local measurement have effects f i equals m i 2 display style f underscore i equals m underscore i caret 2 if the measurement registers the ith outcome the overall state collapses to m i i rho omega m i i display style m underscore i o times i rho o times omega m underscore i o times i the tensor factor in m i i display style m underscore i o times i is 12 3 display style 12 o times 3 while that of rho omega display style rho o times omega is 1 23 display style 1 o times 23 Bob then applies a corresponding local operation psi i on system 3. On the combined system, this is described by i d psi i m i i rho omega m i i Display style i d o times psi underscore i m underscore i o times i rho o times omega m underscore i o times i, where i d is the identity map on the composite system. One, two. Display style one o times two. Therefore, the channel phi is defined by phi rho omega equals i i d psi i m i i rho omega m i i display style phi rho o times omega equals sum underscore i i d o times psi underscore i m underscore i o times i rho o times omega m underscore i o times i Notice phi satisfies the definition of LOCC. As stated above, the teleportation is said to be successful if, for all observable O on Bob's system, the equality phi rho omega i o equals rho o display style langle phi rho o times omega i o times o wrangle equals langle rho o wrangle holds the left hand side of the equation is i i d psi i m i i rho omega m i i i o Display style sum underscore i langle i d o times psi underscore i m underscore i o times i rho o times omega m underscore i o times i i o times o wrangle equals i m i i rho omega m i i i psi i O display style equals sum underscore i langle m underscore i o times i rho o times omega m underscore i o times i i o times psi underscore i caret asterisk o wrangle, where psi i asterisk is the adjoint of psi i in the Heisenberg picture. 
Assuming all objects are finite dimensional, this becomes I Tr Rho Omega F I Psi I O Display style sum underscore I operator name Tr Rho O times Omega F underscore I O times Psi underscore I carrot asterisk O The success criterion for teleportation has the expression I Tr Rho Omega F I Psi I O equals Tr Rho O display style sum underscore I operator name Tr Rho O times Omega F underscore I O times Psi underscore I carrot asterisk O equals operator name Tr Rho C D O T O Topic: Local explanation of the phenomenon. A local explanation of quantum teleportation is put forward by David Deutsch and Patrick Hayden, with respect to the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. Their paper asserts that the two bits that Alice sends Bob contain locally inaccessible information, resulting in the teleportation of the quantum state. The ability of quantum information to flow through a classical channel. Surviving decoherence is the basis of quantum teleportation. Topic See also Quantum complex network, Quantum mechanics, Introduction to quantum mechanics, Quantum computer, Quantum cryptography. Quantum energy teleportation Quantum nonlocality Heisenberg uncertainty principle Wheeler-Feynman absorber theory <laughs>